first person to study these rocks in depth was a Scottish-born UC Berkeley professor named Andrew Lawson. He started teaching in the 1890s and continued for more than 60 years. Here's Ken Lavin. Lawson traveled to the Marin Headlands and to the Twin Peaks area in San Francisco and over to Mount Diablo. And he found the same rocks in all three places. It kind of puzzled him. He could identify the rocks, but he really couldn't interpret them. He found rocks that looked like they had been erupted from undersea volcanoes. He found rocks that he knew must have been deposited on the ocean floor. They were high in silica, either from the microscopic skeletons of prehistoric sea creatures or from volcanic activity. And he found a sandstone that looked like it had been created from underwater landslides. And he scratched his head and he tried, but he really couldn't come up with a satisfactory explanation of why these three rocks would be found together in these three different places. He named them Franciscan rocks, the Franciscan complex. Well, he never did quite figure them out because there was a geologic theory that we take for granted now, but wasn't available to him back then. And of course, that's plate tectonics. And we know today that the Earth's crust is broken up into to plates. We have 12 major plates and lots of minor plates. And they all move around relative to each other, perhaps powered by convection currents in the mantle. We know that very well because here in California, we're on one of those old plate boundaries, one of those plate boundaries, the San Andreas Fault. We're sitting here on the North American plate, and to the west, the Pacific plate is headed to the northwest on average of one or two inches per year towards Alaska. That San Andreas Fault cuts across onto land down by Daly City and continues down through Southern California. So Los Angeles is actually on a different plate than we are. And of course, the geologist joke is that that Pacific plate is moving to the northwest about an inch, two inches per year on average relative to us. So if you want to wait long enough, 20 million years or so, Los Angeles will go scooting by the Golden Gate and the Dodgers and the Giants will be crosstown rivals again. The Pacific plate and the North American plate are neighbors today, but at one time, a different piece of the Earth's crust, the Farallon plate was bumping up against this side of North America. To hear about its story, and Mount Diablo's earliest beginnings, head up to Stop 1.1, near the overlook on what's called the Fire Interpretive, or Mary Bowerman Trail. That trail is just uphill from the Lower Summit parking lot, on the lower left or north side of the little loop that goes up to the summit. You'll see a trail sign peeking out of the woods, from there, it's a five or ten minute walk to the Overlook. 